we are extremely pleased that you are here to play with us and to take thought beyond what it has been before you like that it's nice to stand in a solid place of understanding isn't it and even more exhilarating when from that basis of stability and balance new insights come new life comes new purpose comes new energy moves it's why you are here in these physical bodies not one of you said I want to go into the time space reality of planet Earth and fix broken things none of you said that because from your vantage point as you made the decision to focus here you knew it wasn't broken it was thriving and is you knew that there would be variety and contrast that would inspire you with great clarity to more desire and you understood then that that desire is the summoning point of life of energy and with great deliberate intention you focused yourself here once you get here sometimes it's easy to lose that sense of clarity because the contrast that you knew would serve you overwhelms you sometimes the contrast feels too much in any moment in time and so that's why we enjoy so much coming together like this because together we can collectively smooth things out reconnect with who you really are re-stabilize with the wholeness of who you are re-identify who you are help you to remember who you are and why you're here for the purpose of off you go into the reason you came and the reason you came is because it's way fun to be here the reason you came is because life is eternal you can't cease to be and focusing in an environment like this is just the best of all life where contrast inspires you to your personal and important perspective and desire and then the larger part of you joins you in that decision that you continually make sometimes you forget that too sometimes you forget that you are leading edge creation you forget that the variety that you are focused within will inspire or stimulate within you new ideas and that right there is at the heart of the evolution of everything of all species of all understanding of all knowledge of all beingness of all that is you are on the leading edge of the expansion of all that is can you catch a little piece of the appreciation that source feels for you for your willingness to be in this role of experiencing variety and coming to your own important decisions and conclusions and desires so here we are together you are so much more than you see in these physical clumps sitting on these physical chairs you are source energy and sometimes that source energy part of you from your perspective takes a back seat we want it to take a co-equal seat in other words we want you to understand the perfect balance between you who come forth and explore and decide and those like us like your inner beings who remain non-physically focused and not distracted by the contrast we stand as the beneficiaries of the contrast that you sometimes are distracted by so when your life helps you to know what you don't want and therefore helps you to know what you do want long before you are able to articulate the specifics of what you want you've been launching rockets of desires in the form of preferences that have given your inner beings points of attention to focus upon and that matters so much because we all live 
whether physically focused or non physically focused and an environment of vibration and this environment of vibration is managed by the law of attraction which simply means that vibrational frequencies that are same join and that's what causes momentum that's what causes more so an easy way to say that is you get what you think about whether you want it or not because your attention to a subject will cause momentum to happen the difference between you in your physical form and the non-physical you the inner being part of you is that when contrast causes you to launch a rocket of desire your inner being then gives undivided attention to the desire while often more often than you want to be the case you stay focused on the reason for the desire you tend to as humans because you've clustered together and confused each other you tend to want to justify why you want that by pointing out how awful it is or how unfair it is to be experiencing something less than what you want so you sometimes without meaning to hold yourself in a sort of defensive justifying pushing against what you don't want position and your inner being never does so what happens at the very beginning of you doing what you came to do which is identifying what you want at the very beginning of that identification it's possible in fact really probable in fact you do it all the time for you to split your energy because you've asked for something that you're not focused on you still are asking it's sort of like when you want your kids to take the garbage can to the curb and they don't do it you keep asking them to do it because you believe that if you don't keep harping about it that they're not going to do it you don't trust your first request your children have served you not well by being so stubborn <laughs> because now you treat everybody that way you don't sometimes believe that because you've asked it is given someone should write a compelling book about that <laughs> when life causes you to ask it is given it is a vibrational certainty but because you're not used to seeing yourselves or understanding yourselves as vibrational beings you don't realize that when you ask with your vibration it is given vibrationally but we get it your physical beings who translate so magnificently through your physical senses this reality into being you see you hear you smell you taste you touch that's the reality that you have come to rely on and so a vibrational reality that you are in the process of creating doesn't really ring your bells but we want it to you don't get excited about something until you see it and once you see it it's old news once you see it your ability to modify it is hampered by what it already is we want you to free yourself from the bondage of what is if you are really observant of what is what is is what you're offering mostly vibrationally and so you just keep regurgitating what is different faces different places different spaces but same theme sort of like what you see at the movies there are only four plots we so adore chewing with you and helping you to remember that step one of your intention for being here is that the contrast will cause you to identify a desire step one ask step two is once you've identified that desire your inner being focuses unequivocally with no dilution and no equivocation upon your desire no defensiveness no explaining just purely upon what you want and since the law of attraction is responding to both the physically focused you and the non physically focused you there is a potential in fact it's a sure thing with almost every one of you that there's going to be splits in your energy from time to time really often because of what you're focused upon and the difference between what you're focused upon and what your inner being is focused upon it would be like having a friend who believes in your ability and so from a place of not having 
something that you want you speak that you want it and your friend just goes right to in his mind a vivid picture of what you want and sees that picture so clearly that your friend can't even see where you stand in relationship to it it's like you want it and it's done and your friend revels in your success and you say wait a minute you dummy I don't have that success yet and your friend said yes you do and you say no look at my bank statement look at my credit card limit look at where I am and your wise friend says why you told me who you really are and what you really want that's where I look and most of you would then spend some time trying to get your friend to come back to reality <laughs> but your inner being who is your friend will never do that so your inner being doesn't just believe your inner being knows who you are but when you don't know now you've got some contradiction in your energy which translates to you as negative emotion that's what negative emotion is it's the disagreement that you have with your inner being about whatever you're focused upon when you feel the negative emotion that's all so step one is you ask step two is source focuses toward what you've asked for step three is you want to use your emotional guidance system to help you get better and better and better at agreeing with your inner being about who you really are of looking in the direction of what you are now creating not looking in the direction of what you have created before and we want you to understand this past present and future conversation because past and present as you understand them to be from your inner beings point of view are all past you say it's now your inner being says it's past because what has manifested is old news what is manifesting is what your inner being is focused upon the energy that is flowing now the dynamics of the energy that flow now are all that matters and when you are a deliberate creation you get your eye you get your emotions you get your awareness on your guidance system of what is flowing now what is the direction of who you are becoming because oh friends you are eternal beings you might as well get used to reaching for more than has manifested there's always going to be stuff in the process but as humans you want the stuff that's in the process to be out in the open where you and everybody else can see it and agree upon it which is what slows you way 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 down because you don't revel in the process you say things but you don't mean it you've coined a phrase as humans the joy is in the journey but you don't mean it what you mean is I'm willing to go through the sucky journey in order to get a manifestation that I really want and when the manifestation that I really want comes then I will be happy but in the meantime I'm just gonna fake it and we say you can't fake it because the law of attraction knows your game the law of attraction is taking you at your vibrational offering